What are you spreading now? Lyme disease? Canna-Cola fever? All of the above, Captain Antibody. While my decoy lured you into the intestines, I have multiplied and infected the liver. Well, let's just see what my antibody rays have to say about that! You've won the battle, but not the war. And search, search your memory, memory chip, and I'll see you in the pancreas. So, Mr. Paxson, what'd you think? It's good. But I don't think it's ready to submit to the Office of Disease Control. But why not? Pepper Ann, creating a game that teaches kids how a disease acts and how it can be conquered, that's an awesome task. But this is missing oomph. Oomph? What do you mean? You know, when everything clicks, when everything jives. Oh, okay. Oomph? Jive? Click. I must have been sick the day my MIT microbiology teacher taught us those very important concepts. Listen, you're young, you're talented, you'll figure it out. Oomph. I'll show him oomph. You have two new transmissions. Hey, Pep, we're all meeting for dinner at O'Delegan's at 8. Try not to be late this time. Peppy, it's your mother. Peppy! Peppy! <sighs> Anywho, look what just came in the mail. An invitation to your 15-year Hazelnut Middle School reunion. I'll transport it to your apartment right away. Call me! <laughs> so, I take it you're not gonna go. I've gotta go work on that video game. Besides, why would I wanna go reminisce with people I have nothing in common with anymore? Hazarsh. Not really. You know how it is. Things change. People change. Case in point. Audience, please welcome former child star, Gina Gingham. <laughs> Gina, you and Tina grew up as the stars of your own long-running sitcom, Crazy Twin Shenanigans. When did the shenanigans go from crazy to hurtful? Well, Sherry, that would be when Tina took my money, stole my husband, and drove to Poker City. Now, thanks for sharing, Gina. Joining us now is Pepper Ann Pearson. Pepper Ann, you haven't talked to your childhood friends Nikki Little or Milo Kamalani in years. Why? Uh, we just drifted apart. Weren't you so eager to leave Hazelnut that you let a precious friendship fall by the wayside? Well, after high school, we all went our separate ways. Milo went to art school, Nikki went to Harvard. But you're the one who didn't return phone calls and emails. You told Milo you were too busy to go to his wedding. I had finals. I told him I was sorry. Don't you owe your childhood friends an apology for losing touch? Don't you, Pepper Ann? Pepper Ann? Pepper Ann? Are you okay? I think I need to get something out of my trash. Man, I can't wait for the end of the year carnival to start. Raw corn dog batter come to Papa. Milo, there's more to the last day of seventh grade than botulism. It's the end of an era. And the start of a new one. Now that we're practically eighth graders, we can finally put away all that embarrassing stuff we've done in the past and look to the future. Hey, don't the yearbooks come back today? Please don't be hideous, please don't be hideous. Pepper Ann, we've all seen your yearbook picture. But what about the other pictures, the candid ones that no one's seen yet? Uh, 
Ugh, who am I kidding? It's stupid stuff like this that'll haunt me for the rest of my stinking life. Hey, it's the last day of seventh grade. Go sign some yearbooks. Why? It's not like I'm gonna go forgetting everybody. After summer, we'll all be coming back to the stupid school anyway. I mean, jeez, don't people realize that nothing ever changes around here? Oh, my baby's come <gasps> home! Hey, Mom. Hey, Alex Trebek. Oh, for goodness sakes, he's been your stepfather for three years now. Call it Alex! Welcome, Pepper Ann. I haven't seen you since the wedding. And speaking of weddings, this tribe of the Isfahan Shiraz Corridor celebrate the arrival of the bride and groom by yelling out their traditional wedding cheer. Ta'ili! Li-li-li! Oh, Moose! <gasps> Peppy, <clears throat> you're choking me. So what are you doing back home? Are you making Alex Trebek do your laundry again? Mm, I moved back in for the summer while I interned at the Large Animal Veterinary Clinic. Besides, Alex does get my white so white. Pappy, shouldn't you be getting ready for the reunion? Oh, yeah, the reunion. It'll be just like old times. Trust me. Mm. Oh, Pepper Ann, it's so good to see you. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. And you, <laughs> you look, who are you? It's me, Stuart Waldinger. <laughs> you raced RC cars, dated your best friend, Nikki Little, for two years? Mm, sorry, doesn't ring a bell. What about Nikki? Is she already here? I've been following her car, rear, uh, her career. <laughs> Move along, please. Oh! <gasps> Pepper Ann, I can't believe it. You are so cool. Constance Goldman? How are you? I'm great, thanks. I'm surprised you didn't come with Nikki and Milo. You three were inseparable in middle school. Mm. Pearson, after all these years, you've finally come back to torment the old middle school principal. Admit it, admit it! Uh, no offense, Principal Hickey, but I think you're being paranoid. Me? Paranoid? Ha! You! Sister, after all these years, you've finally come oh. back to torment the old middle school oh. principal. Oh, Peppa Ann! Dieter? After graduation, I conquered my bad eating habits and discovered the miracle of isometrics. I'm clenching as we speak. Pork fried spring roll? No, thank you. Over here, girly. That's right, I'm talking to you. Mama's hungry. Peppa Ann? Nikki, hi. It's... Good to see you. You too. You're looking well. Punch! Look, they have punch. Let me get you some punch. What are you waiting for? Tell her you're sorry for losing touch. Look, I'm gonna apologize. I just need to pick my moment. Hey, Clarence and Terrence, that's who we were telling you about, Pepper. And she's gotten worse since middle school. That's sad. That kind of scary. Look away, Monica and Veronica. You too, Chandra and Yolandra. Um, Nikki, I've been meaning to... Like, hey, Pepper Ann. Hey, Nikki. Hugs, but no kisses. Oh, I just don't want to, like, smear my mahogany lip liner. I, like, got it at cost for working the cosmetic counter at Veronica's Treasures. That's great, sissy. So what else is up with... Okay, you nut about my beautiful lips. What are you guys up to? I... I'm working as a reporter for the World Street Journal. Oh, that's the perfect job for you? Because you were always like, um... Aren't my nails pretty? <laughs> hey, hey! If it isn't Pepper Ann and Nikki, best friends from middle school! Pose for a picture, my blessed children. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Have you all met my daughter, Zoe? Milo, hey! <laughs> Where's the missus? Oh, Bettina's back in the hotel with an upset stomach. We're thinking there might be some bad spring rolls floating around town. <laughs> hey, Milo. Hey, Zoe. What up, PA? So, Nikki, how's the new boyfriend? Nikki, you have a new boyfriend? Kevin, and he's fine. Well, I hear he's fine. We're still trying to resolve that whole Lake Tammy issue. Nikki! Oh, you look great. Man, what we had was, was so special. I think about you every day. Uh, who are you? Nick, it's me, Stuart. I raced RC cars, we dated for two years in middle school. Oh, Stuart, <laughs> I was kidding. I could never forget you. I think this is the guy who accosted Kevin and Lake Tammy. 
Former HMS 7th and 8th graders, good evening and welcome. Vera Gruber was supposed to introduce our next speaker, but unfortunately, she's, um, no longer with us. <gasps> she's cashed in her pension and moved to Cabo. Keep them coming, Alejandro. And is it me, or do you get cuter every day? Having spent the last three years as an aide to Senator Beatty, I am proud to introduce my political hero, ladies and gents, our former student body president and current president of the entire free world, Mark Hamill! Well, first of all, thanks to everyone who supported my health care bill. All two of you. Now, without further ado, let's kick off the festivities by opening up the time capsule the 7th and 8th graders buried 15 years ago. Time capsule? That's right! capsule. What better way to give props to the seventh grade than to write a letter to yourself which you'll bust out at your reunion 15 years from now. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. There's no way I'm ever coming back to this sorry school. Uh, this one's from Milo Kamalani. It reads, Dear Me, in 15 years, I'll have made it in the art world by shellacking food-based sculptures, or, at the very least, making Christmas tree ornaments out of toenail clippings. That's right. And for the week of stomach, you can visit my gallery online. P.S. I'll never forget the friends I have made here at HMS. This one's from Nikki Little. Uh, she writes, Dear me, I hope to follow in the footsteps of Diane Fossey and Amelia Earhart and go where no girl has gone before. And, of course, I'll remember the good times I've had at HMS. What did I write? I can't remember. Hey, Pearson. Hey, Craig Bean! What are you up to these days? Been working at the high school, coaching swim, teaching trig, and, you know, hanging out with my girl. Girl? Well, that sounds, uh... Something wrong? Now, don't hold back. Write what's in your heart! Fine, I'll write what's in my heart. Dear whoever, yearbooks are stupid. Everyone in this sorry school is dumb and will amount to nothing except for me. P.S. I'll also be married to Craig Bean and we'll have four children, Coco, Magoo, Bernstein, and Craig Jr. My life is trash all over again. What am I gonna do? President Hamill is gonna read my letter and I'll look like an idiot in front of Nikki, Milo, Craig, and everyone. Come on, you were young when you wrote that. No one will even care. I care. I, I gotta get out of here. You can't keep running away from your problems. You're not in the seventh grade anymore. Last day of seventh grade carnival, here we come. Guys, why go to some lame carnival where we'll eat rancid corn dogs and play unwinnable games of chance? when we could go to Fuzzy World and eat rancid corn dogs and play unwinnable games of chance. So you took some horribly unflattering pictures. Deal with it. How? By going to some stupid carnival and rehashing old times like some sentimental drone? The seventh grade is over. It's time to do things on our own terms and start making our own decisions. Well, watch me make a decision to go to the required school activity. Fine. Come on, Milo. Sorry, PA. It's my last chance to say goodbye to everybody. Call me a sentimental drone. So, are you going to run away to Fuzzy World, or go to the carnival and face things like an adult? Pepper Ann? Hmm? Huh? Where are you going? I, uh, was just gonna look for you guys. Something's happened, and I'm hoping you'll see the humor in it. You wrote what? You realize, P.A., that we both wrote about what friendship means to us, and you wrote about us amounting to nothing. I know, and I'm sorry. I was having a bad day. But if my letter's read, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Unless we can get to that letter before President Hamill reads it. Pepper Ann, we're adults. This isn't the seventh grade anymore. Nikki's right. We'd be totally regressing. We're, we're in. in. Great. We'll need a plan. Um, no offense, PA, but your plans tend to be a little ill thought out. What do you mean? Because he hates kids with ill thought out plans. Especially plans that involve playing hooky from school. But it wasn't ill thought out. It wasn't even hooky. I was just ditching a lame carnival. I swear. Okay, Nikki, you think of a plan. <sighs> Maybe I can convince President Hamill's bodyguards I'm writing a story on the reunion. Perfect. You get to President Hamill, lure him off stage, at which point Milo can distract everyone else from noticing me while I snatch my letter out of the capsule. Uh, query. How am I supposed to distract everybody else? You're gonna sing. 
Now, how's come no one ever comments on how much we've changed? I'm parting my hair on the other side. I'm wearing new boots. I have the coffee stains bleached out of my teeth. Never mind. Well, if it ain't Mickey Little, it's so great to see you again. Well, hello, Mama Destruct. Ow! I retired from wrestling, undefeated champion of the world. And now, I'm a Secret Service agent assigned to protect President Hamill. Well, kudos to you. I'm a journalist now, and I need to get a quick interview with President Hamill. Not so fast, you opportunistic little hustler. Milo, get ready. As soon as Nikki distracts the president, you're up. So, um, you got anything from Frank Sinatra or uh, John Lennon? Can't you read? Public domain. I got old Susanna, Mary had a little lamb, and Polly put the kettle on. But nobody likes those songs. That's the beauty of public domain. You just change the words so it sounds like a brand new song. That's the cheapest thing I've ever heard. Hey, that's why they call me Mr. Cheap. See, Mama? This is what's called a press pass. It gives journalists, like me, access to public figures, like Mark Hamill. Sorry, Little. This ain't a press conference. That ID's no good. <sighs> no good? What do you mean, it's no good? I said it's no good. You did not go for any milk bottles. Ordinarily, I'm opposed to fisticuffs, but if you want a piece of me, Carney, let's dance! Woman, chill. Pepper Ann would have figured out a way to knock those milk bottles over if she were here. <sighs> I bet she's having the time of her life at Fuzzy World. Someone get me out of here! I think he was right. Who cares if I took some stupid pictures? I should have gone to the carnival with my friends. Uh, I have a question. Why is your yap trap always open? That's it, Mama. You want a bowl of pain from Nikki's kitchen? Huh? Is anyone sitting here? Of course not. Why would anyone want to sit next to someone they don't remember? Stuart Waldinger. Raced RC cars, dated Nikki Little for two years. Always thought you were cute. I actually thought Milo Kamalani was cuter, but he has a kid and a ring on his finger. I'm just shocked you remember me. You even know my name. So, you married? No. Want to ditch this joint and grab an Oxychino? Yeah, I'd love to. Wow, that Gwen Mesro hasn't changed a bit. Who? And this next letter is from Pepper Ann Pearson. Ah! Uh, she writes, Dear me, oh, I hope... Rosanna, don't you charge a fee, cause I come from Argentina <laughs> with a poncho no! stained with... No! 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 I don't get it. I'm free to go? <gasps> Nikki? Milo? How did you guys find me? Well, after the carnival let out, we searched for you around the bowler coaster and the tilt a hurl And figured Fuzzy Jail was the next logical place to look. <sighs> Sorry for bailing on you guys. I should have known Fuzzy World wasn't going to be fun without you. The seventh grade carnival wasn't fun without you either, PA. But now it's too late. I spent the whole day in Fuzzy Jail, missed the carnival, and didn't get to say goodbye to anyone. A bunch of us are meeting up at the Greasy and Cheesy. You can say goodbye there. You guys rock. If you two ever end up in jail, know this. I'll be there to bail you out. Ha! Me in jail! <laughs> That's rich. What is my editor going to say? What is my wife going to say? You're free to go, kids. But uh, speaking as a friend, not as chief of police, here's a tip. Keep your distance from Mark Hamill. He's very litigious. Well, on the bright side, I got my letter. You guys must be pretty mad, huh? Actually, I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. What? Nikki, how can you say that? You're in jail. Exactly. How straight-laced and boring would I be without the two of you? Nikki's right. This is the stuff that memories are made of. Guys, I'm sorry I lost touch with you. Somewhere along the line, I just forgot what your friendship meant to me. We all have to try harder from now on. The three of us together, we got something. We got oomph. Hey, Milo, are you still good at video games? You're asking me? I'm the king. And Nikki, you wrote that article on computer graphics a while back, right? Not to brag, but it was one of my better pieces. Well, see, I've been having problems with this video game project I've been developing. I agree with Nikki. If I were you, I'd try to spell out Captain Antibody's agenda a little more. You're right, but in a way kids can relate to. Let's discuss it over a game of Crunch Pad. For old time's sake. They turned Brain Dead into a pet store. What about Burger Fortress? Pawn Shop. Freezy Pleasy? Health food store. Ah, <sighs> it's good to be home. Hey, Pearson, on your way out of town? Oh, hey, 
Craig? Yeah, I'm heading back to the city, but I have a feeling I'll be coming back a lot. Maybe next time you could, you know, look me up or something? Uh, sure. You and your girl. It's a date. Have a safe trip, Gerline. Thanks. I will. I had an order to go for Pearson. One small pepperoni pizza. That'll be twenty-eight fifty. Man, I hope I didn't bomb that history test. Tell me about it. Um, I'm sorry to bother you guys, but would you mind if I sat in this booth just for a sec? Hey, PA, pass the parmy. Did anyone see that documentary on the Bronte sisters? No, but I saw Craig at the pool today. I had to put on sunscreen because boy was looking hot. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Sorry to bother you. What was with her? Old people. 